And as you can see on the map already, there's a lot of exclamation marks. Open up the gate, Jessup. Jesus Christ, don't... You're slacking on the job. Um, because there's a lot of quests in this place. Uh, we're gonna meet a lot of characters in this, uh, this, uh, episode. Crap. I mean, uh, darn. Roland needs your help. Without you, the Crimson Raiders don't stand a chance against Jack. Please find out where Roland's gone. Sanctuary. Built on the ruins of the Dahl Corporation's finest interplanetary mining ship. Now the last refuge for thieves, murderers, and outcasts. Welcome home. So a few things about that. There's actually a reason because she did that a few times now, Angel. She's cursing and then stops herself from cursing. There's a reason for that, but I'm not going to tell you guys that just yet. And another interesting note is that Angel already says that this is built on the ruins of a dull mining ship. And you can take that however you like. So let's open this up here. Speak to the town mechanic. You already know who that is, because we heard his voice in the catch a ride. Oh, crap. Is it hot period? I heard all of you were robots and you eat metal out the garbage and stuff. Knew you wired death machines become for me once Roland went missing. Now, if you're here to kill me, you should probably know. You'll never take me alive, you robotic son, bitch! And that's Scooter, and uh, yeah, for some reason the cutscenes are really low quality. Wait a minute. Huh? Well, hang me upside down from a telephone pole, come for me, and honey, and leave me to a slow death at the hands of hungry spider ants. <laughs> you ain't no Hyperion robot. You're a vile hunter, huh? That's like a unicorn. He likes to babble as well, so kind of a kindred spirit, I suppose. Hello, Scooter. Now, you gonna help us out with this rolling situation? I heard them Crimson Raider dudes talking about it. Roland told me if you ever disappeared, I was supposed to initiate Plan B. Or as I like to call it, Plan Turn This City into a floating house fortress of airborne awesomeness. Ha <laughs> ha! B. I, I got some fuel cells around here. You'll need those. Oh, and you'll need this uh, iridium here, too. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Thank you. More iridium, black market stuff. Black market stuff. So there's a few power cells. I think they're upstairs. Because we kind of have to do a few tiny fetch quests before we move on. There we go. Fuel cell. And he's. Uh, we need those fuel cells to turn this city into a floating, well, city of badassery or something. I'm not. I don't have the eloquence of Scooter. Yes, that's exactly what I said. The eloquence. Of scooter. I think the other one must be downstairs then. Or is it? Or is it higher? No, it's lower. Definitely lower. Going down. I'm yelling timber. There we go. It's right here. Well, let's head to the center of town and plug those two fuel cells into the ignition primers. You're gonna need a third, which is why I gave you that here red rock. Uh, you can buy the last cell from Earl's Black Market. Careful though, Earl's crazy. He had one of my cars once. Yeah, the whole car. Yeah. Back with a fork. Bandits of Sanctuary. I hear a new vault hunter has arrived in your city, so just turn him into me and you'll be rewarded. Don't worry, nobody's gonna turn you in. You're our only hope of stopping Jack. Well, aside from the fact that you have, well, kind of four other vault hunters to help you out, but I mean, including Roland, so I don't know what one vault hunter is gonna do. Um, install the first fuel cell. I need to do that first. I was already going to, uh, to Crazy Earl. But no, no. I'm just going to install fuel cells. Because I, I do stuff like that. that wait, that, what, wasn't that? It just opened up. Now I can install it. There we go. Roland said we got to have an exit strategy just in case you ever disappeared. Install fuel cells and whatnot. Uh, bummer though. He really wanted to meet you. Raiders ain't gonna last without some new blood, and given how you shot them bandits up, I'd say you and blood got an extra special relationship. Like cousins taking a bath together. That is, that is so fucked up, yeah. Okay, here we go. Like cousins taking a bath together. Yeah, so he's kind of a stereotype. Um, which is kind of weird. I'm not gonna say more than that, because it's, it's just weird. Hello, Earl. Just buy something, and I'll toss in this crap fuel cell. <laughs> Just touching it made two of my fingers rot off. I only accept iridium. Cash is for clowns, boy. So we can buy upgrades for pretty much everything in our capacity. So uh, upgrades to our ammo capacity for pretty much everything. 
uh, for money as well. And then for our backpack. Backpack is going to be the most interesting one in the first place. So let's do that first. So we can uh, carry three more items now. And we got the third fuel cell as a bit of a bonus. Which is cool. Which is cool. It allows you to get basically a free upgrade. Because you get four iridium from a scooter. And now we can install this last fuel cell over here. Hi, thanks for grabbing all that stuff for me. Third degree burns are best taken in shifts. Now, to see the fruits of your loins, this city is gonna fly! Ah, uh, you might think that. But, uh... Yeah, we're a bit too early to do something fancy like that, right? There we go. Uh, okay, so that's Roland's place. I just want to do one more. You know what? Let's do that first. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Roland left a message for you. on the latest Echo So is this the guy that says get in? Now that you're here, I know we're gonna be. Yeah, he gives us a key after that. Yeah, there we go. Key to command center. I'm just gonna check this. Ooh, ooh, yes, definitely yes. This is an upgrade to our Molly one uh, SMG. So let's swap that out. That is so sweet. I'm just gonna sell the rest of the stuff. There we go. Sold a bunch of stuff. And now we have a Molly One SMG with the rotating circle. I really like that. I really like how they all look. Molly One has this futuristic design, which is really great. Um, let's listen to this and collect our purple reward. So we actually get a storage deck upgrade, which increases the number of guns we can equip at the same time. So now we will be able to equip three guns at the same hey, time. Soldier. If you're hearing this, I'm in trouble. Right now you're the only thing standing between this city, hell, the whole planet, and Handsome Jack's army. I left info about my whereabouts in my safe. You can use it to store anything you need. This is your home now. Good luck. So, this is our headquarters now, and I think, can I open this up? No, I can't open this up, because there's a weapon crate behind there. I don't know what I need to do. Probably need to talk to Patricia Tanner. My research is going swimmingly, notwithstanding. Your help is not required. Okay, let's go up first then, and have a little chat with anybody who is here. So, the vault over here on the left, we can use that to store things uh, indefinitely. So if you put stuff in here, you can actually, so that's the vault. No, that's the vault. Uh, you can put stuff in here and then you can swip, uh, swip, swip, swap that between your characters. So if you have higher level gear, but not for your character, which is gonna come in later, uh, you can actually put it in here. So let's grab this. This is the Firehawk. Come to Frostburg Canyon or people will die. The Firehawk? You mean the mass murderer and bounty hunter? Oh, crap! If the Firehawk's got him, Roland's in deep! You gotta get to Frostburn Cannon and rescue his ass! There we go. If Roland has been captured by the Firehawk, he's in danger. <gasps> You're the only one who can stop Jack, but Roland is the man with the plan, so to speak. He knows the best way to strike at Hyperion. So there we go. Our next objective is to go help Roland, which was something we could have expected already. And now over here in this alley, there's actually another character that gets introduced with a crappy cutscene. Refund, please. This gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. There we go, Marcus. No refunds, no refunds, definitely no refunds. So Marcus Kincaid is the storyteller of the game you heard at the beginning and of course the owner of the ammo and weapon shops. He also has a neat little quest uh, which can help us with a bit of experience. I'm just gonna grab this later. I've got an opportunity for you. There we go. Hey, Vault Hunter. If you're gonna be a part of the Crimson Raiders, you better know how to use elemental weapons, don't you think? I've just got a crate of spanking new Malawan elemental weapons. Wanna help me test them out? Sure. So let's go to the firing range. The firing range. Let's try out fire weapons. Are now so there we go. Fire weapons is first, and I have a fire weapon. Stake. 
which is not a problem. So then we can turn that in with Marcus, get a bunch of experience for that, and then we get to the next one, which is shock damage. This Hyperion fascist thinks he's safe because he's... Just gonna swap that out now because I need to get that gun. Spoilers, he isn't. It's only a matter of time until Jack. Shut takes up. That Jack lover. Yeah. A few good hits from a shock weapon will zap a shield away quicker than you can say buyer's remorse. So that gives the shooting a bit of a tactic. So if you have a shielded opponent, you should first use the shock weapon to get rid of the shield and then use either corrosive or fire weapons to finish the job. There we go, more experience for us. And then the next one is Corrosive Weaponry. Corrosive Weaponry works on armor. So these guys. Because it uh, eats away at the armor. There we go. And then the last one is Slag. Now let's try out these new Slag weapons. Slag is a bit more now than Slag. He should be easy enough to finish off. Switch to another weapon and hit him again. Great! The weapons work, and you're ready to take on Handsome Jack. Now, let's talk about your payment. So Slag actually uh, weakens enemies, so they take double damage from the rest of your gun. So not from your Slag gun, so Slag is actually just used to apply the effect a bit like Shock as well. But uh, there we go. It's a bunch of experience for me for free. You could always buy some from your friendly neighborhood arms dealer. You're not Spider-Man. Just gonna shop with him as well because he actually sells some nice things sometimes. So it is completely random. So uh, it is completely random. So I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna check out my equipped weapons. I'm gonna go with that fancy shotgun we found before. Because the Thork shotgun is really, really powerful if you can get up close. But that was Marcus. There's plenty more characters where that came from. So let's head towards the medical facility first and do that next. I'm actually going to grab the history audio diary as well first because there's a few of them. You can get some extra stuff from it if you collect them all. Lanceman, attention. I only have one question to ask of all of you. One question. Just a few years ago, we were enemies. That time has passed. As glad as I am to see you all in Sanctuary, I know you wouldn't have come if you had any other option. I know how bad things are out there. I know how Jack's army has swept across this planet like a sandstorm, ripping apart everything in its way. When I joined the Crimson Lance years ago, they told me I'd be fighting to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. But you all know as well as I do, that was a lie. But this fight against Hyperion, it isn't. If we don't band together, if we can't protect this city from Jack's army, then we're done for. I am Roland, and I only have one question to ask. Are you with me? So the Crimson Radius is, uh, well, an effective part of the Crimson Lance, which is the military... And actually the bad guys from the first Borderlands, so the military created by Atlas, another one of the gun manufacturers. So mostly, yeah, mostly the enemies are always, well, the, the villains are always part of a gun manufacturer. Because Hyperion, the company of Handsome Jack, is also a gun manufacturer. So, yeah, I said we were going to go to the medical facility and that's for, well, from Dr. Z. Who's a bit deranged as well, like pretty much every character in this game. There we go. I'm starving! I wanna eat your babies! Son, this might sting a bit. Stab! Uh, do no harm. And he also has a little side quest for us. Let's help him out with some surgery. You need cash? I need things I don't want talked about. Let's talk. Hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerkbag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. So I love that the... All right, make a um, small incision just below his sternum. The objective is perform make surgery. Sure we don't want to nick the coronary artery. And as you can see, the button we need to press is the melee button. So perform surgery with a katana. There he goes. Close enough. Pick up the iridium shard. An iridium shard? Oh, for 
How many times I tell you idiots, you can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff. Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. Didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that Tannis lady on the other side of town. She's real into that iridium stuff. When she ain't acting all hoity toity because right she's here. got a real doctorate. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff needs doing. So there we go. We just get introduced to these characters. As like I this. Said, Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also, I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. Hey! That's not very nice. We all like bacon. Well, most of us like bacon. And I don't hold it against you if you don't like bacon. But you don't get to tell us that it's for sycophants. After hours of scientific insanity, you could only imagine in your dreams or in my bed standing over, I have deduced that Jack, the Vault Key, and the Iridium are all connected on a deeper level. Well, in your... I, I mean, I would mind. She's not bad looking. Let's talk to her. Collect the award oh, before this gets too scared. awkward. As long as you ain't scared of a little tetanus anyways. Jesus Christ, said, Calm down. So, uh, that's Tannis and Dr. Zed. So they all get opened up for more, uh, for more side quests, which is great. Just gonna pick up another one of those audio diaries from the Crimson Raiders history. Right next to this guy, there's another one. If you can hear this, and you're sane enough to understand what I'm saying, head to Sanctuary. I don't care what Jack has told you, or how well defended you think you are. The Hyperion army is coming to wipe you out if you want to survive you get a gun you come to sanctuary and you join the crimson raiders so they're kind of out of order but uh this is supposed to be the first one i think or at least one of the first ones uh there's more stuff over here but in the back here in this crap yard uh claptrap actually made his home which is a bit weird but he also has a little side quest hey i have a job of the utmost importance minion over here your master commands you so this is one that the objective uh, list on the top right is actually really cool to look at if you keep an eye on it. You helped me reach Sanctuary, Minion, and for that, you deserve a reward. I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I currently am. In order to find it, you will have to perform a series of devious challenges. First, collect a few brown rocks for me. Then, defeat a badass skag. Then, pilfer the lost staff of Mount Schuler. Then, you shall bring me the head of the Destroyer of Worlds! And then, you shall dance for my enjoyment! <laughs> I love those objectives. It's actually really crap. Um, so he told us that the stash is actually really, really far away. I'm actually mistaken about the vault in Roland's quarters. That actually just uh, used to store items you can't carry. Like, for example, legendaries. You want to keep but can't really use anymore. But the stash is actually what you use, and the objective mark is so stupid, uh, is actually what you use to swap items between your characters. So if you open that up, you can see the stash, and we can store stuff in that. We're not going to use that just yet. Crap! It uh, looks like the hiding space for my super secret stash just fell apart, leaving it completely exposed. So, congratulations! You successfully subverted my meticulously planned challenges! Why don't you go check out the stash? There we go. Let's talk to him and get a bit Even more experience. You didn't bring me what I asked for, I've decided to let you use that stash to share weapons between my minions. Specifically the ones that, um, that you control. Look, it's for tweaking items between your characters. <laughs> I love that little fourth wall break. Um, uh, what else you can do with Claptrap is actually... Come on, well, Claptrap, don't, don't run away. You've earned it! Uh, yeah, okay, but, but, but Claptrap... That's what I'm talking about! There we go, about. that's a high five on Claptrap. And actually, if you haven't done that before, you actually got a, uh, well, a trophy for high-fiving Claptrap. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, yes, yes. The buxom lady of the bunch. I'm just gonna grab this, which is, uh, Noose. Thanks! And now, for the latest edition of This Just In with Hunter Hellquist. This is Hunter Hellquist of Hyperion Truth Broadcasting with a message to the Vault Hunters of Sanctuary. Thank you. Your continued resistance against Hyperion has assured your own destruction. 
As Hyperion marches towards a brighter tomorrow, you remain willingly in the past, in the dark. Your own stubbornness will lead to your deaths and One to a better future for like all of us. So there we go, a bit of a propaganda against the uh, Crimson Raiders. Let's go into the bar of Mad Moxie. Uh, I don't have any work, but that doesn't mean you can't hmm. stay. I thought she was going to get an introduction as well, but maybe I need to go through the front door? That was weird. I thought she had an introductory as well, but probably not. So she's probably the most... Uh, uh, Over-sexualized character, not saying anything, but th it, it just is. Um, and also, Hammerlock is here. Hello, mercenary person. I have money and a problem. Bullymon. Rubbish name, isn't it? I'd like a better one before my almanac goes to print. Search some Bullymon bone piles, will you? I'll learn something about their diets and come up with a catchier name for the beasts. So there we go. We have another side quest from uh, Hammerlock. And I think, yeah, so there's the music installation is right over here. I know, I think that's part of one of the quests. We're getting attacked again. So every, every now and then we get fired upon by the Hyperion station. And there's also slot machines in here that you can spend your money on. And there's all sorts of stuff in here. That's a grenade. That's a live grenade. There we go. Just gonna pull this again. Get some money and pull this again. I'm just gonna do this twice. You can actually get uh, weapons out of this as well. I'm just gonna try this a few. Nah, that's crap. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna, just gonna continue on. So another one. There's uh, another one of these history ones, but I think we're gonna go for that one over there first to get a bit more chronological out of this. Hey, Roland, handsome Jack here. Remember me? My men kicked your bandit asses out of New Haven and killed your little pal Lilith. Ring any bells? Anyway, I hear you and the rest of your little buddies have relocated to Sanctuary. Just wanted to congratulate you. You've successfully delayed your death by a few months. I'm going to be real busy mining Iridium to charge that vault key I stole from your buddy Tannis. So you guys are going to be low on my priority list for a while. So, ciao. Another thing I never noticed on the PS4 version of this thing. My LED light in my controller actually changes color depending on what gun I'm using. So this is yellow for the explosive stuff, this is orange for the fire stuff, and this is blue for just, well, light blue, just for regular stuff, I suppose. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the last one over here. This is a message to any Crimson Lance left on Pandora. And I guess it's a badass rank. <clears throat> and knowing the Lance, they'll more likely cut their losses and leave you here than send an extraction ship. So unless you want to starve to death out there, you got two options. One, you become bandits. Two, you join me in protecting the people of Sanctuary. I can offer you food, shelter, and the chance to fight for something real, something meaningful. A chance I know the Atlas Corporation never gave you. Roland, out. So we kind of started with the first one, but uh, that's not too bad. Johnny Waffles! I love the names of the NPCs here sometimes. Then we get Assassinate the Assassin, so that's another uh, side quest. This is a recorded message to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. So that's another interesting side quest with uh, four, well, kind of fancy assassin type dudes. Uh, and then we have Zed with his side quest. We can grab up. Looking for. You know what can make a bullet hole that ain't a bullet? Because I freaking don't. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapon's causing them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. And don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also unlike me, he actually has a medical license. <laughs> Which is interesting if you see the fellow, Doc Mercy, because he's, he's not a friendly fellow. Um, I can actually get a class mod already. High capacity reduces maximum health. I'm not gonna go with that. Uh, I'm gonna get the class mold though. And then sell that. There we go. And we're gonna... Is that automatically equipped? So yeah, so class mods are specific for your class, obviously, and give you a bunch of extra bonuses. So pistol fire rate plus 30%, uh, magazine size plus 16%, and shield recharge rate plus 40%. Just so we have a bit more... Uh, stuff in there. There's actually one over here as well. Nah, let's just keep that. 
let's just keep that. And last thing I want to show you before I end the session, don't know if this is going to end the episode, but anyway, badass ranks. Do we actually get another point? Yeah, we have one token and I just wanted to show you how that works. So if you redeem the token, you can check, uh, choose one of the, well, stats over here, and that's gonna get boosted by a marginal amount. So shield recharge rate is now at 8.4% extra. If we do that, we get 0.3% actually, not 0.4. Maybe there's a few smaller numbers after that. And that just keeps going with every character you have. And every time you gain badass ranks, you start to get more badass tokens. And that's pretty much all the side quests there is. There's actually a fast travel station inside of the pier station over there, which we're going to use next time to move further. Or even in the same episode, I don't know how this is spent. Uh, the golden keys we got in the beginning are actually used for this, but those are best opened when you're actually at max level because it's leveled loot. It's leveled loot, so that's basically that. And... With that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. When we get back, we're going to head into the wider world and start taking off those side quests. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Borderlands 2, the handsome collection. Goodbye. Next time on Borderlands, we eavesdrop on some really weird conversations. Fire! I ripped down her bumpy dummy. Send her hot streak. We're for me.